Hi, I'm Maggie Ball, quilt designer, author and traveling teacher. And I'd like to share with you my new technique for making this op art kaleidoscope quilt. The technique is based on my kaleidoscope puzzle technique, which is template free for cutting kaleidoscopes. Please watch my earlier videos to get the basic technique. Here we're expanding it. And what we do is we make large kaleidoscopes, like this one in the centre of the block, and we cut them up into nine pieces and we switch those pieces with blocks that have the reverse colours. Just like the uh, kaleidoscope puzzle quilts, we're going to make a masking tape frame, but this time, because we're making large kaleidoscope blocks, the frame is 17 inches. So take your masking tape, mark off, so that you have 17 inches inside the frame. And then just as we did before, we're going to mark off from each corner. This time it's going to be five inches. So count off five inches from each corner, put your mark five inches this way and so on. This time you cut your squares 17 inches. And here I've got two together, a light and a dark and I'm going to cut these up so that I get four kites and four wedges of each. You can stack as many as four fabrics together at once and do four layers at a time. So to make my number one cut I'm going to line up my ruler with this mark that's on the inner edge of the frame and make the cut. If when you make the cut, the two halves separate a little bit, just nudge them back together again so they're in the right place. Cut number two goes across from number two to number two, right where that mark is on the edge of the masking tape frame. Then number th three to number three. And number four to number four to get all of our pieces. Now we have kites and wedges cut in both of these fabrics. When you've cut your kites and wedges, you need to put them together into the kaleidoscope blocks. And here we have two of these large kaleidoscope blocks and you can see that we've got dark kites and light wedges in one and light wedges and dark kites in the other. Then we're going to cut the blocks up into nine pieces and switch the parts around to make the new op art kaleidoscope block. So to do this, put your block on your cutting mat and you're going to position it so that it's two inches in from the side of the mat and two inches from the bottom of the mat. This is the approximate position for us and now we're going to fine tune this. The center of the block needs to be right where the 10 inch line on the mat is. So what I've done is I've put my ruler in line with this 10 inch mark and I can see that the center is just a hair out. So we're just going to make a minor adjustment to this, pull it over a little way. Now you can see that the ruler goes right through the center of the block and it's on this 10 inch line on the mat. We need to do this in the other direction as well. So I'm now going to go along the 10 inch line in the other direction. And this one looks pretty good. Maybe just move it down a hair. Now the center is completely lined up. And I'm going to double check in this direction as well. So the center is lined up in both directions. To make the cuts, you want to cut four inches on either side of this 10 inch line. So here's my 10 inch line. I'm going to put the four inch mark on the ruler in line with the 10 inch line. That means 
that the edge of my ruler is actually in line with the 14 inch line on the mat. And I'm going to make the cut here. The next line will be four inches on the other side of the 10 inches. Now, I don't want to cut in this direction like this, so I'm going to move the ruler all the way across to the number six. That is four inches away from the number 10 and make the cut. We're going to do the same in the other direction. So here we're going to line up the four inches on the ruler with the 10 inches on the mat. So that four inch line goes right through the center of the block and it's in line with the 10 inch line on the ruler. And this edge will be in line with the six inch mark on the mat. Here we go, make this cut. Now just make sure we've got all those little threads cut. And we're going to do four inches on the other side of the 10 inches. That's the 14 inch line to make the final cut. Now what we have is nine pieces. We've got four corners, four rectangles on the sides, and then a kaleidoscope in the center. We're going to switch these side rectangles around and you will see what the new block looks like. So we'll be creating these new op art kaleidoscope blocks. When you piece these together, you will piece them in rows. So we'll put these three together like this in a row and line up this right angle corner here. And don't worry that there's an irregularity on the outside. We want the center part to be accurate. Um, so align these corners piece out to the outer edge of the block and it doesn't matter that there are irregularities around the edge. When you join these rectangles onto here, these seams will meet at the raw edge. So right here, this seam comes to the edge where this seam comes to the edge. On these two completed blocks you can see how the reverse colors look. You can also see that there is an irregularity here. Now, this is because we've taken in those seam allowances. And so there is a hiccup there. There's supposed to be a hiccup there. You don't have to match this. But when you see the whole quilt with these blocks in it, your eye deludes you into thinking that that line goes straight out. When I trim this to 14 and a half inches, my center point is going to be at seven and a quarter inches. So I want to make sure that seven and a quarter, seven and a quarter is right where that intersection is in the center of the block. And then this diagonal line will go through these corners of the kaleidoscope block that's in the center. And you can also see that the 11 inch line here is in line with the edge of the block that's in the center. So your kaleidoscope block here, you have 11 inches and here you've got 11 inches. Then on these edges, it's three and a half and three and a half. So if you get the, this center block lined up with these lines, then you'll be making a nice square cut. And you've got this diagonal line going through the corners. So this just helps you to line up your ruler accurately to make the cuts. So now we're going to cut two sides and as you can see there's very little coming off that area on the side. We're not wasting very much at all. There isn't much to spare. So we're going to take that away and then we will rotate the block around like this and cut the other two sides. Here's a four block op art kaleidoscope quilt and you can see that this is very simple, just two fabrics used. 
in the center you can see these dark kaleidoscopes so this one had light kites and dark wedges and then here is the reverse so you've got the red kites and the floral wedges um, so this is the simplest one to make just cut up two light squares two dark squares and make your blocks and then I put some sashing in between um, which is awesome because you don't then have to match up these points exactly so very easy to do um, and uh, a sweet little quilt I hope you've enjoyed seeing how to make this new op art kaleidoscope block and I encourage you to experiment with different fabrics and make your own unique quilt. Visit my online store at my website dragonflyquilts.com You can purchase patterns and they are immediately downloadable as PDFs or we can send them to you in the mail. Happy quilting!